Next, we're going to cover the T3. So the original design was uh, called Turtle's Harness, which was intended to integrate with an armor plate carrier, hence uh, the turtle, the armor, and, and uh, the harness. Um, this version, you'll see, it's got uh, the older style uh, padding. However, um, the new version, the Gen 3 version, is uh, you would use chassis in this location. It's just, this is an operational rig. I didn't want to uh, take it all apart uh, just to put the chassis on there, but you'll get the point. Everything else is, is the same. And I just want to show you guys the, the Dawn and the Doff. So the Dawn is going to be... Just Dawn your plate carrier as you, you normally would. But there's going to be some differences here. So you'll see I've got the chest harness in the keeper right here and that's so it doesn't fall back and you can't grab it or if you do manage to grab it it's going to have a couple twists in it that you can't see in clear so if you always use that keeper then it should always be good the thing to remember is that you always have to put it through the the shoulder strap it's not it's not a deal breaker if you don't it's just it's not going to uh, um, if you invert then uh, there is the the rare chance that uh, it may pop out. But you've got the other one is always done up. Uh, so you're probably gonna be fine if you accidentally miss that. It's just gonna be more comfortable this way. Do up the chest strap and then uh, this pops in the same way as the other one on the, the, uh, the D3. Carabiner goes on. All the way through does up clips don't forget to finish donning your plate carrier you got the cummerbund that will need to be connected and then also don't forget the leg loop straps and so just like the the d3 these just go on the leg loops clear it give it a click clear it, give it a click. Now, everything else is exactly the same. The benefit of this is that it doesn't go under your armor. Their chest harness is not under your armor, so you don't have to worry about coming out the neck hole. And the other thing that you don't have to worry about is having a, a chest harness over top of all your pouches. So normally I'd have a radio here, I've got emergency equipment everywhere. You name it, there's emergency equipment here. I don't want to harness uh, you know, my Heeds bottle, I don't have it in here. I don't want to harness over top of Heeds. I don't want it over top of um, flotation. I don't want it over top of my radio hitting the, the push to talk switch. I don't want it over top of my hook knife. If I'm wearing ammo, I don't want it over top of my ammunition. So the harness is underneath all of that, but it's over top of the armor for comfort. And so that's where this, this that's the idea of the, the whole design of the T3 system. And then just like the, the D3, so you can walk around with these somewhat loose, your connection point to the harness, or pardon me, to the, uh, the hoist or the rope is gonna be here. This is a secondary connection point, no problem going on either one. Right before you go on the hoist or the rope, you just sit down, tighten those up, and then that snugs the whole system up. You can connect to here, hang off of it. It's gonna hang you in a nice seated, comfortable position. As soon as you come off, just to be comfortable, loosen those up. You can walk around and be comfortable and it's not an issue. Um, everything else is gonna be uh, the same as the, the D3. The only difference is that you're, you're in your armored rig. Functions with both the G3 and the M3 sit harnesses. I'll show you guys the DOF real quick. It's very similar to the uh, to the D3. Again, it doesn't have to be done in any specific order, but you're going to have to take that off. I always like to just reconnect it, although it's not as critical here because the molly is holding that vertical web into place. So even if you leave it out, not a big deal. This comes out. And then the other difference here is you don't have to take it out of the shoulder strap on the, the D3 yoke, but you do on this one. And then what I always like to do is just put it in the keeper right away. That comes off. Don't forget your leg loops. Let 
those come off. Pop your armored rig off. And again, if you want to doff the leg loops here at the same time, and we're out of the system. So it's the T3 uh, chest harness system.